Good morning. It's good to see you today. It is Old Testament Monday here on 3 Minute Manna. Let's talk about Daniel and his three friends. I hope you're familiar with the account. The three friends, King Nebuchadnezzar, made a law that said they were going to bow down to that golden idol. They refused. Daniel, King Darius, made a law that said he effectively wasn't going to be able to pray to God anymore. He refused. Think about the account. Let's see what we can learn. Daniel chapter 6, verse 10. After King Darius had made that law that said that Daniel wasn't going to be able to pray to God anymore, Daniel went home and he prayed to God. Three times that day, he got down on his knees in thanksgiving. We need to be men and women of prayer. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Pray for those who are in authority, kings and all those who are in authority. Giving thanks for all men is what the passage says. There's enough hatred. There's enough vitriol out there today. We need to interject godliness into the equation. We need to be praying for our government. We may not have voted for them. They may be making godless laws. They may be godless heathens. That probably means we ought to pray more for them. But we need to be praying for them. Daniel, he went home and he prayed. wonder what he prayed about. Yes, they defied man's law. But even in their defiance, they honored the king. Remember what Daniel says to King Darius in the account of the lion's den? He says, O king, live forever. In Romans chapter 13, in the chapter that talks about um, how we treat the government, it says, Render therefore to all their due in verse 7. At the end of the verse it says, Honor to whom honor is due. You want to talk about defying uh, man's law, but still doing it honorably and not lashing out. You read Jesus' trial and how he treated those who were in authority. You read Paul's trial and you read about how he treated those who were in authority. Daniel said, O king, live forever. We may not agree with their laws, but we need to make sure that we are living the sort we need to make sure we're living the sort of lifestyle God wants us to. Daniel and his three friends, they did not refuse their punishment. Daniel's three friends, they effectively say, to paraphrase it, in Daniel chapter three, verses seventeen and eighteen, they say that their God will deliver them. But even if even if it meant facing death, they were still going to be faithful and they would die in faith. They did not refuse their punishment. And there's something to learn about that. That we can be faithful out of jail, we can be faithful in jail. You might think about Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4 verse 19, uh, a verse that's highly ap applicable to today. As Peter and John, they say, because they're on trial, they had been arrested, they say, whether it's right in the sight of God to listen to you more than to God, you judge. They effectively say the same thing in chapter 5 at verse 29. But at the end of chapter 5 at verses 40 and 41, as they were once again in jail and they were beaten and then they were released. They had been, they had been beaten, but as they were released, they went their way and they rejoiced because they were counted worthy to suffer shame for the Lord's name. Daniel and his three friends they, glad, they gladly, as they went into that fiery furnace and they went into the lion's den, they were magnifying God. As the apostles were on trial, they rejoiced because they were counted worthy to suffer shame, magnifying God. That is what they did. That is what we need to do today. Whatever our state, we need to magnify God. And if that means being on a bigger stage, so be it. Hope you enjoyed this study. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow morning.